What do you see when you watch the news? When you turn on the radio? When you read the headlines? Hatred, poverty, war, crime, fear, depression, suicide, hopelessness, bullying. But you know what I see? I see people with amazing potential who've just lost their way and forgotten to believe in themselves, stop recognizing the potential they have to affect real and positive change in this world. I see the small, barely detectable acts of kindness amidst the chaos. I see kindness and how it can change people, how it's most certainly changed me. This? This is the world I see. It's not just a feel-good film that I put together. Each and every scene that you're watching is based upon real-life experiences, moments in my life that had an impact and impression on me. I'd like to share one story with you about a boy, a middle school student of mine, who was labeled by everyone as a bully but all you needed to do was just peel the layers and see that there was so much more there. He was considered every teacher's worst nightmare, rude, disrespectful, disruptive, bully. Even his peers made fun of him and called him annoying and got into fights with him on a daily basis. It killed me to see that. Because when I looked at him, I saw a child with a heart of gold searching, wishing, hoping that someone would see that within him, give him a chance, see past the rough, tough exterior, and recognize that there was something so much more there. The teachers had a little bit of patience with him, but after time, it ran out. I'll never forget this one day. He got into trouble with the teacher, and it was kind of the last straw. They were speaking of suspending him. And so I saw what was going on, and I ran over, and I stuck up for him. I will never forget the look on his face. He couldn't believe it. No one had ever done that for him before. He came over to me and he said, why did you do that? I'm so mean to you. Why do you care? And I looked at him straight in the eye and I said, because I think the world of you. And I only hope that one day you could see yourself through my eyes. I will always bet on you. So you can push and you can push. This is one person that's not going anywhere. And he looked at me and he said, why? I said, because I know what it's like to have people give up on you. I know what it's like to feel alone. When I was 15 years old, I went through a tragedy. My family, we had a fire in my house. My dad lost his business and one thing after the next kept continuing to go wrong. And I fell into a state of really deep depression and I was really close to just giving up. And what killed me most was that no one was there for me. But I promised myself something at 15 years old. I promised myself that I would be there for people the way that I wish someone would have been there for me. 14 years later, I'm still keeping to that promise. He looked at me and he didn't say a word, but I knew he understood. And I saw the spark was lit. From that moment, things began to change. At the end of his eighth grade year, I wrote him a letter, and I only found out recently, now that he's in college, that he still has that letter. And he told me, you know, I've taken that letter out so many times during high school just to know that there's someone out there that's betting on me. It's amazing. The power of kindness, believing in someone and helping them to believe again in themselves. Whether it be bullying or any of the other social issues going on in today's time, if you look at the core, the heart of the matter, it's a lack of self-esteem and self-value that is the cause behind this wildfire. Practice kindness, empower people, recognize 
that although people make mistakes, they matter, they are significant. And only then will we be able to quell the fires and can we expect to see change. Some of you looking at this film, I'm sure have your own film going on rolling through your head. Recalling instances in which someone gave you a lifeline of kindness. That's because it matters and you know the significant role, not only that it's played in your life, but in the world at large. This is the world I see. And if you allow yourselves, this will be the world that you will see as well. Thank you. Thank you.